Hi, my name is Laura, and uh, I have had emetophobia ever since I can remember. Um, I have just completed my sixth Thrive Consult, and I can say that I am 100% cured of my phobia, and uh, that's pretty unreal and amazing when I think about where I started. So um, now I would say my reaction to uh, others being sick is fairly normal. Um, I don't find it the greatest experience. It's fairly unpleasant and I certainly don't search it out, but um, it doesn't incite that absolute panic and terror in me that it used to. Um, so today I just want to talk a little bit about my story and what brought me to the Thrive Program um, in hopes that it can help someone else out there uh, to seek help for their fears, their anxieties, their phobias, whatever. Uh, so, like I said, my emetophobia started when I was very young. Um, I, sometimes I feel like I was born with it, even though that's impossible, but uh, I can remember cowering under blankets in my bedroom when my brother was sick, um, plugging my ears, not wanting to hear it, not wanting to be around it, just terrified of the whole experience. And um, these sort of acute reactions to it only affected me maybe a few times throughout my life, um, but I've always kind of had that underlying fear of it. Uh, so the real start to my story came about three years ago. I was on my honeymoon with my new husband and um, it was our last night in St. Lucia, and I wasn't feeling all that great. Um, I woke up in the night thinking that I might be sick, and wasn't. Uh, but then I, I got back to sleep, and I woke up a little later, and the room was spinning. Um, I was in full-on vertigo, uh, and I later learned that I had my first panic attack at the same time. So, um, we flew out of the country a couple days later and came back to the U.S. and um, I didn't get a diagnosis as to what was happening until about a month later after many doctor visits, many tests. Um, it turned out that I had a uh, inner ear virus um, that had gotten in there and it damaged all of the balance structures in my inner ear. and. Um, that is what caused the initial vertigo, which lasted about two weeks. And then for probably the next 15 months or so, I was just sort of dizzy, out of it, um, just not feeling quite right. Um, so during this time frame of not having a diagnosis, not having a clue what was going on, I was a wreck. I was constantly Googling my symptoms. I had uh, diagnosed myself with uh, MS, with a brain tumor, with uh, HIV, with any number of viruses or uh, syndromes as you can think of. Um, and that is what really helped to kind of embed that anxiety. Uh, so I, I got to a spot where I couldn't take it anymore. I just, um, was just panicked all the time. And so I went and I talked to my doctor and uh, after going through everything and after all the tests that I'd had, I, I was completely normal. Uh, so we determined that um, it was likely anxiety causing everything. And we started treating it with medication and I went through a couple therapists for um, talk therapy and CBT. Um, so I had probably, and sessions all together. Um, so up until November of 2016, I was living what I would call half a life. Uh, I was still in this anxious state that would uh, flare up into panic attacks from time to time. I was still dizzy quite a bit. It would kind of come and go. Um, and before my honeymoon, I had become certified in Zumba. Uh, and because uh, my honeymoon happened just uh, about a month after I got certified, I never got to teach. Um, 
I was so dizzy all the time and such a uh, such a wreck inside that I couldn't work out anymore. I didn't want to move for fear that it would make my symptoms worse. Um, I was just I was just a shell of my former self, just um, just existing. Uh, so back to November, I had a particularly bad bout of dizziness that just happened to come uh, before my husband and myself and my whole family were going out to California to visit my brother. And the whole time we were out there, I was so dizzy, I was miserable, uh, it was just, it was a horrible trip. And when I got back, it didn't get any better. Uh, and by this time, my anxiety was so ramped up that I started having uh, IBS-like uh, flares. Um, those lasted for about two months. Um, and I just couldn't get any control over it. Uh, I was so paranoid about every symptom in my body. I would take my temperature constantly. I was Googling all the time, trying to find people who felt like I did, um, just to get that reassurance that someone out there had experienced this and knew what I was going through and um, I was normal. Um, it was like I was preparing myself to defend myself against my own body, which is impossible. Uh, so, um, I couldn't continue to live that way. I was so desperate for a solution after not only the past three years, but just those two months where everything was acute. Um, you know, so combined with those symptoms, uh, I live in Wisconsin and in Wisconsin, the winters are freezing and it was the peak of flu season. So all around me, um, Friends, coworkers, family were getting the stomach flu. Um, people were out all the time. Um, I felt like I was just surrounded by sick people and um, wondering when it would hit me and what I would do about it. I just felt completely out of control and scared. And um, I, I couldn't deal with that. So with... Uh, with that, my emetophobia sort of came roaring back with a vengeance. Um, and I started looking online for solutions. And um, I came across the Thrive Program. I mean, how coincidental is it that they have a book entitled Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive? Um, I thought, you know, I've tried therapy, I've tried medication, I've tried CBT. Uh, I might as well try this. Can't hurt. Um, so I ordered the manual, and as soon as it came, I dove right into it. Uh, I got about three chapters in and knew that this would work for me. It was just an entirely different approach to what I'd been through before. Um, the problem came when I realized that I was understanding all of the concepts in the book, but uh, I was sort of stalled when it came to employing the techniques. I didn't know how to move forward. Um, so that's when I decided that I needed to enlist the help of a Thrive Consultant. Um, I had a few initial consults via Skype, and once I met Fiona, uh, I immediately knew she would be the one to guide me through the program. Uh, not only did she have a sense of humor about everything, but uh, she had this sureness about her that uh, this program would absolutely work for me. Uh, and. I couldn't help but want to start with her immediately. So I enrolled officially in the Thrive Program with Fiona as my consultant, and um, starting it was like a breath of fresh air. Uh, that's not to say I wasn't skeptical of it actually working. Um, it took probably two or three sessions before I started thinking like, all right, I can do this. Um, this is going to be the thing that works. Um, so. First off, uh, what you need to know is that the creators of this program know you um, without knowing you. They know your habits, they know your thought patterns, and uh, there was something so comforting about that, knowing that someone understood that and um, there was something that I could do about it. Um, I finally felt normal with this sort of abnormal fear of throwing up. Uh, so. 
I learned so much in this program, especially about my desire for control and the fact that I actually didn't have any when it came to my fear. Um, I learned about my lack of self-esteem and social anxiety that had uh, developed along with this fear uh, and had essentially kind of kept it going, kept it active and top of mind. Um, I also learned about my limiting beliefs and unhelpful thinking styles and how they have kept me in this emetophobic cycle. Um, Thrive taught me to think in a way that I never have before. Uh, it's a way that keeps the power that I know that I have over my thoughts to be ever present. Um, so it was probably my third session um, that I kind of experienced this breakthrough moment. I remember waking up that morning and um, I realized that my first thought of the day wasn't, what do I feel like? Um, what's going on in my body? Uh, how phobic am I going to be today? What, what are the challenges that I have to face? Um, rather, it was thoughts of all the positives in my life, the sun shining through my window, the nice, warm, comfortable bed that I was in. Um, all the good things that I had in my life and the things that were going to come that day. Um, so this is a, a pattern of thought that I hadn't had for years, uh, probably at least three. And um, that was huge. I couldn't wait to tell Fiona about it when my Thrive consult started and I just sobbed. I was so happy and I was so proud of myself. And it was like, this, this is working. This is going to work. Um, so I just finished up my sixth, sixth session and I probably won't have a follow up now for about a month. Um, I've reached a point where not only have I gotten over my phobia, but I'm looking forward to all the opportunities that I can create in my life. I am getting back into Zumba and hope to be instructing soon in my own classes. Uh, I'm planning a second honeymoon with my husband and many small trips and getaways in between. Um, and I'm doing this video, which is something that I never would have done two months ago. Uh, I'm living the life that I want to. Uh, but that's not to say that things are perfect. Um, I still have blips where I allow myself to follow a negative thought and become a bit obsessive over it, or I notice a symptom and it kind of throws off my whole day. Um, but the difference is now I have absolute control over these thoughts and feelings. I can gain the perspective that I need over the situation and reassure myself that it's just me causing my anxiety and I have the power to stop it. Uh, I'm at a point now where I'm overcoming my sort of habitual reactions to symptoms and feelings um, and I'm changing my thought patterns and kind of those scripts that always used to run in my head when I would notice something. Um, I'm embedding all the skills that I learned through Thrive and I'm practicing the techniques every day um, and it's just taken six weeks to get to this period. Um, I know eventually these things are going to become automatic. I won't have to think about it anymore. I won't have to prompt myself. Um, they'll just become part of my daily life. Uh, I no longer have the urge to take my temperature or seek reassurance via Google searches or forums on the internet. Um, it just doesn't matter anymore because I, I have the confidence to know that the solution lies in me. Uh, so I went from multiple diagnoses of vertigo, anxiety, panic disorder, emetophobia, uh, IBS, to now nothing. Um, to know that I have freedom from all these things uh, and the skills to handle anything that comes my way and the fact that that's uh, allowing me to live the life I want gives me a feeling that is nearly impossible to describe. Um, the closest thing I would say is euphoric. Um, this book hasn't just helped my phobia. 
It's given me an entirely different outlook on life. Uh, the ability to just live each day in a happy, confident, positive state that I've created. Um, so for anyone out there who is in the desperate state that I was, or even if you're not and you just want to make some changes in your life, uh, I sincerely hope you give this program a chance. Uh, if you put in the effort every day to build your skills and manage your thinking, you will absolutely get better. Uh, this program empowers you with the resources to get to a place where you're no longer just reacting to your anxiety uh, or putting the fires out, as we like to say, um, but to a place where you're no longer creating the anxiety to react to, period. Um, you'll not only overcome your phobia, your anxiety, your fear, whatever it is that's holding you back, um, but come out a happier, more confident, positive, and empowered version of yourself. And there truly isn't anything better than that. Um, so I think that's probably enough battling for now. Sorry, babbling? Yeah. Uh, so thanks for listening, and I will see you with my next update. Thanks.